Boeing Starliner just completed its first successful uncrewed flight mission, finally cementing the company as a contender in the space race. Boeing has been trailing behind SpaceX in Blue Origin, but the company is finally ready to make its way to the International Space Station. But the real question is when? In today's video, we'll be looking at what's next for Boeing after its historical mission. Boeing's Starliner capsule has come a long way since its maiden launch way back in 2019. That launch, of course, was a failed mission as the capsule failed to meet test objectives. Complications that arose soon after launch led to the mission being aborted and closed that chapter for Starliner. But Starliner redeemed itself with its most recent launch on May 19th, its very first successful uncrewed flight mission to the International Space Station. The test, which was tagged Orbital Flight Test 2, began the launch mission at Cape Canaveral Space Station in Florida and launched on board the Atlas rocket, making its way to orbit. The test flight was an effort to show that Starliner is capable of ferrying astronauts safely to the International Space Station, something Starliner is yet to do. Starliner successfully made it to orbit but experienced some minor problems with two of its 12 major thrusters used for maneuver sequences in space. A similar problem resulted in the failed test, which almost led to the loss of the capsule back in 2019. Thankfully, this time, the capsule has been upgraded and proceeded to make its way to the International Space Station without further issues. Starliner made automated docking with the International Space Station 22 hours after launch, marking the first part of the mission a success. Starliner stayed docked to the International Space Station for five days before disengaging and making its way back to Earth. The capsule made a smooth and successful re-entry and landed at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, according to plan. Although the mission was a success, Starliner still has some issues from its previously failed launch when the mission was aborted due to a malfunction in the capsule's propulsion systems. The malfunction led to propulsion valves not opening and closing properly. The issue required a more permanent solution, but Boeing engineers gave the capsule a go-ahead with a temporary fix in place for its recent OF-2 mission. The recent mission was a historic moment for Boeing, which was still trailing behind other space companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin. NASA was equally pleased with the success of the mission, a mission which had long been anticipated since 2014, when the contract was signed for Boeing to provide such transport services for NASA astronauts. Both NASA and Boeing don't plan to waste much time in preparing for a crewed mission now that Starliner has proved it's ready for the next phase. Starliner as a space capsule is a revolutionary rocket and has a lot of similarities to the Apollo program rockets that put the first humans on the moon. But unlike the Apollo rockets, Starliner features state-of-the-art technology and groundbreaking engineering that are far more advanced. Following the successful landing of the Starliner, Boeing Vice President and Commercial Crew Manager Mark Nappy gave a press release regarding the next step for the capsule. He stated that teams have been assigned to move the landed capsule in preparation for the shipment back to the company's designated facility at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Upon arriving at the Space Center, Boeing intends to begin the necessary tests and upgrades to the capsule required to support the seven astronauts the capsule is designated to carry. These tests will be crucial to determine the readiness of Starliner and its ability to complete future missions without fail. Upon authorization from NASA, the first crewed mission will be scheduled with the designation Crew Flight Test. But although Boeing has its plans for Starliner moving forward, NASA will need to fulfill its role as oversight for the just-concluded OF-2 test. NASA will need to review and double-check the data to determine the current state of the capsule and how well it actually performed during the uncrewed test flight. Expectedly, there will be some obvious issues to tackle before NASA gives Starliner the go-ahead. The main issue being the failure of two thrusters on board the Starliner, which occurred about 30 minutes after launch. Thankfully, backup thrusters kicked in at just the right time but it would still need to be investigated to determine if it was a system or a mechanical problem. Following NASA's investigation, a launch schedule should be drawn out and made public. With the recent success of Starliner, Boeing is finally a contender in the space race, although it has some catching up to do. Starliner isn't the only spacecraft under contract with NASA, as SpaceX also shares the same contract, 
albeit with a much smaller budget, but with more significant success. When NASA opened the bid for its commercial crew program back in 2011, SpaceX and Boeing were the finalists chosen by the government agency to build commercial spacecraft to ferry its astronauts to the International Space Station. Boeing was awarded $90 million per seat on Starliner for each astronaut, while SpaceX received $55 million for the same on the Crew Dragon. As of 2022, SpaceX has already launched five successful crewed missions to and from the International Space Station. SpaceX also uses its very own Falcon 9 rocket, which to date remains the most successful reusable rocket in the world. It seems Boeing is now playing catch-up and is finally earning its big paycheck with its first successful flight test. By comparison, both the Crew Dragon and Starliner have staggering similarities with both vehicles able to accommodate up to seven passengers each. The only difference in this regard is that while Starliner can use a mix of both cargo and crew in the same capsule, SpaceX has a separate capsule named Cargo Dragon used exclusively for cargo resupply. Also, while SpaceX plans to reuse the Crew Dragon up to five times, Starliner is set to be used up to ten times, but this can only be determined after a successful crewed flight has been completed. With regards to technology and engineering, both capsules use different methods, with SpaceX's Dragon having significant results, but Starliner is proving it's equally superior. Taxpayers have been asking why NASA hasn't pulled Boeing's contract after the company failed to deliver in the originally agreed timeline, even after receiving more substantial funding than SpaceX. NASA's response has always been the same, a determination to fund and build American rockets to fly American astronauts. The entire goal of the commercial crew program has been to promote private commercial launch vehicles and to replace the agency's dependence on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. A NASA statement reads, The commercial crew program means NASA no longer has to rely on Russia to take American astronauts to the space station. U.S. astronauts can launch from the U.S. soil again. Currently, NASA and Boeing are yet to set a date for the crewed flight test of the Starliner, and astronauts are yet to be selected for the mission either. However, NASA astronaut Suni Williams has been chosen to work closely with Boeing and Starliner. She is part of a select few astronauts training to fly on board the capsule when it has been cleared for a crewed flight mission. She has been working closely with the Starliner team at the Kennedy Space Center and had this to say prior to the Starliner landing. We want the spacecraft to get back so we can start testing the environmental control system. There's a lot of work ahead of us before we get to the crewed flight, but we are chomping at the bit. NASA has expressed eagerness to put the Starliner to a crewed test before the end of the year. Boeing engineers have also been put on the clock to fix any and all bugs that might create problems for Starliner as the capsule sets to ferry its first humans into orbit. During the post-landing press conference, NASA's Stephen Stitch reacted to a photo showing both Starliner and Dragon docked at the International Space Station. He expressed a sense of accomplishment at the thought of both capsules completing successful missions and realizing the agency's dream for commercial spaceflight. Evidently, Starliner is still a long way off from completing a successful crewed mission, but the recent test flight shows that Boeing and NASA are on the right track. Do you think Starliner will be able to take astronauts to the International Space Station this year? Or is that just wishful thinking? Let us know in the comments down below and be sure to check out some of our other videos.